Could you tell us what does the Bahubali satellite say about India and ISRO's abilities? Today, we can say one of the launchers what we are having has performed 100% reliability. All the launches going through successful. Again, when we started this countdown for this mission, we had to face tough weather situation. Then we were thinking whether we had to postpone the launch. Then after thorough analysis, the, with the entire team, we decided to go ahead with the launch. And today, it is a successful story. And India has placed the heaviest communication satellite in the geotransfer orbit using our own launcher. In fact, a similar rocket, similar communication satellite, 12 years back, we had to go abroad and launch. And we have built the capability today, and we have launched. It is a proud moment for all the Indians, not only ISRO team, the entire Indians, not only India, across the globe, and we have accomplished this mission. Mr. Narayanan, when it comes to collaboration with the private sector, today India has approximately 350 space startups. You've been mentoring them. Could you give us a sense of what do you really want private sector companies in the space domain to do? Also, if you could give our audience a sense, this is a very serious audience who are looking at opportunities in the space sector, in the defense sector, very, very closely. I'd like you to give us some vision in terms of our import dependence right now and where the private sector can come in to uh, complement ISRO and our space ambitions. You know, uh, our program started almost 63 years back and we have built uh, almost six generations of launchers and 134 satellites. And currently there are 56 satellites in the orbit serving the common man of the country. And this numbers has to be taken to at least three times based on the vision of the Honorable Prime Minister in another two to three years. That is what we are talking. And whenever we talk about a launching taking place or a satellite playing, being placed in the orbit, you know, the, out of the entire money, almost 80 to 85 percentage is pumped in the private sector for the hardware realization. For example, this Mark III vehicle, what we have launched a few days back, almost 80 to 85 percent of the fund for realizing that vehicle has gone to both the private and government of India undertaken companies for realizing the hardware.